Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharuka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power of Israel, the Most High God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Jehovah, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of this truth. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. Shalom also to the few Aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick lesson. Hopefully, it's going to be at a fine. The title is Many are having visions of death and destruction lately. So, there are lots of people, you know, lately having different dreams slash, slash visions because dreams are visions, you know. They're having different visions of, you know, very, very horrific things that are about to come upon the earth, you know, in which the Bible... In the book of um, Joel, chapter 2, verse 28, I believe. Can this is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28. It says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. You know, so this is really happening, you know, heavily, you know, for the past few years. But lately, it's getting really heavy, you know, myself. So months ago, I had a vision of, you know, some, you know, kind of scary scenes, man, of things that are going to happen, you know. Seeing the military being poured out, like, you know, coming out against people. Now, a friend of mine, a brother, Kalam. Of the GMS Italia camp you know he called me yesterday you know telling me a vision he had which I'm going to play this man's video he also had a vision but I'm just going to speak about the vision of the brother quickly you know he had a vision yesterday on um, the night before you know so he told me in the vision you know it seemed like we were we were actually you know we were three of us you know teaching on the street or something you know so to cut the long story short, he saw in the sky as if the sky was, you know, filled with these um, missiles, you know, they were just being shot, you know, so he saw the sky like missiles, you know, rising, lots of missiles, there were like thousands and thousands, you know, he said the scene was very, very scary, you know, and in that moment he was thinking that, wow, this is actually the last day, you know. This is actually the last day. That was what he was thinking in his mind. This is the last day of this kingdom, you know. Then he woke up, you know. So, you know, this these prophecies have been going out, you know, for years now, if not decades, you know. And, you know, the elders, starting from the elder apostle Taha and the rest of the elders and teachers, you know, they've been teaching about, you know, a destruction coming upon this kingdom. You know, they've been teaching about different things, you know, about the, the MOTB that's going to be pushed heavily on everybody. They've been teaching about, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble, book of Jeremiah 37, the book of um, Daniel chapter 12, you know, the book of um, 2 Ezra 16, 9, 15, you know. They've been teaching about all different kinds of destruction coming upon the earth, you know. And people are having visions, you know. There are many scoffers who are, who are saying all different kinds of stupid things. And they're being put to shame right now, you know. IOIC, you know, some time ago, they were, they were speaking about, they did a video some time ago that the brother, um, Yahawad of the GMS Italy camp, you know, he sent me a video um, of the IOIC, you know, making mockery, saying it's June, it's June. Well, there is, there are no there is no microchip or stuffs like that, you know, saying all sorts of abominable 
and corruptible conversation, you know? These men are actually the, 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 the wicked, you know? They are part of the wicked, you know? They are wicked Israelites. They are of the house of Saul, you know? Because they're leading the mass of the morons that are following them in which amongst them they're still going to be um, elect, you know? But we're praying that they come out of it so quickly because, you know, that man is actually leading them to, 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 to death, man. You know, wake up and come out because, you know, the time is really short, you know. 2022 is going to be a year like never before, man. These devils are coming heavy, you know. There are going to be a lot of deaths, man. Now, let's play this video quickly. It's going to sound crazy. But I feel in my spirit I need to share this. And so here it goes. Last night, I had a dream, somewhat of a vision. And I've been getting them a lot, with a lot of different things. And there's a lot of things that I just don't feel like I need to share. They're more personal, but this one was different. And it had something to do with next year, 2022. And I know this is gonna sound crazy, but in this new coming up here, a lot of people die. And I don't know what it meant, but I seen it and it was real. So as you can see, you know, he had a vision and he said he's been seeing all different kinds of visions, but he had to share this one, you know. It had to do with the year 2022 and a lot of debt, you know. <laughs> you know, the Bible speaks about a time like never before, you know. It speaks of that. Let's get quickly the book of Daniel 12, you know. Just actually rolling through the spirit. Hopefully it's going to be edifying, you know. It says, Kalala, you're washing me out shy for the spirit anyway. It says, um, this is the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael, Michaela, stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was seen, such as never was seen, there was a nation, even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. You know, a time like never before. We can't escape this time. You know, Jeremiah speaks of... Is it Jeremiah 30? 7? This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be delivered out of it. And who are those who are going to be delivered? Those who have the, the mark of the most eye on them. You know, those who have been sealed. Those who did the work of the most eye. Who did the will of the most eye. The elect. The wandering and for the four. And we're praying we're part of that number. You know. That's why the elder apostle Tahar's spirit is heavy on him lately. You know, telling us to give him more. This time, you know. This is the time we, need, we really need to give more into this work, you know. This is the time, man. It's just like a race, you know, you're running a long distance race. You know, when it gets towards the end, you get tired, you know. Some people give up at that time. They don't, they don't end up, you know. People start slowing down. This is the time we really need to give into this walk, man, you know. Because the days are evil, you know. And this, this is also a walk of, um, of seeking of mercy from the Most High Yahweh Shumi Shai. And we should always remember to pray the Most High Yahweh Shumi Shai gives us the spirit to be able to stand whatever comes our way you know we should have that spirit that strength to be able to stand whatever whatever trial that is brought on our way because you know some of the brothers are going to be locked into prisons some are going to some are going to be martyred you know killed for this truth you know it could be anyone you know it could be myself it could be anybody you know but we should pray whatever the most i put to our front it gives us the spirit to stand like men you know and to all these, um, wow, man, really, I really don't know what to say, man. Because there are lots of people, really, they are bogged out, man. These camps are bogged out, you know. IUIC, man. This video that I saw yesterday, you know, it really got me crazy, man. 
It's people speaking about the karagma that it's something else, it's Christianity, it's um hegemony, it's uh it's this, it's that, sleeping with white men, um, white women, and all that crazy, stupid, stupid doctrines, man. Fables, man. Now, what are we saying on the TV? The MOTB is right here, you know. There is an Italian um analyst, financial analyst, you know. I watched this video yesterday, a brother sent to me. And this brother actually went in, man. This dude actually went in. This analyst, you know, is Italian. So I wouldn't play the video because there is no translation in English. But it went so deeply in, man. The Europeans already signed a deal, you know, for the digital currency and all this thing. MOTB is just right at the door. And this guy went through it. It seemed like, you know, he has been watching our lessons, you know. But he's a financial analyst, you know. He analyzed everything, you know, letting you know that the future now is a microchip in which you have um, the digital money inside, you know. And what they do with this digital money, it's money that has, you know, sort of expiry dates. You know, they give you money. Um, they, they, you, you need to spend it on certain things. You can't spend more than that, you know. Then if the month, if the, if the month expires, you know, you lose all that money. You know, so there is just a social credit system, you know. ESO wants full control. And if this is not the, the MOTB, what else is the mark of beast then? Come on. So the, the, those that the most like Yahweh Hashem Yahusha has opened their eyes, they can see, they can see. They can understand what's going on, man. And this is not to brag or anything. The truth, the 100% truth lays here in Great Millstone, man. And call Allah Yahweh Hashem Yahusha for leading me to these teachers, man. Because there are lots of people now who are actually joining the scoffers to do their bidding. That's the book of um, the Second Peter. Second Peter, chapter three. Can this is the book of Second Peter, chapter three? I start from verse three. It says, knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lost and saying where is the promise of his coming for since the fathers fell asleep all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation for these they willingly are ignorant of what by the word of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of water and in the water so you know there have always been people you know, different camps, you know, scoffers, you know, speaking against the truth, you know, and what IUIC did is just exactly what, what, what's written here, you know, they'll be like, oh, it's, 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 it's September, there is no MOTB, there is no microchip, there is no this, there is no that, but what, what do they have to say now, you know? And all those people who are still fall in these groups, you know, in ignorance, you know, if any one of them is part of the elect, the Most High is going to open their eyes and they're going to get out, you know. And we know that these groups, through the Spirit, they're going to all get destroyed. They're all, they're all going to break. This, these groups are going to be destroyed, man. You know, this organization that they've built in order to, 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 put into, to put into darkness, you know, the sons of Israel, you know, these organizations are going to fall. And people are going to see that there is no truth in these organizations because they are not in modern organizations, man. So lots of people are having dreams, you know, they're saying this destruction that is about to come. You know, next year is really going to be a year like never before, you know. And hopefully it's going to be the last one, man. For these devils that are ruling in power, you know, because this is the spirit. Those who are sincerely following the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, this is the spirit they should be in. You know, we don't want anything to do with this kingdom. We're praying for His kingdom to come. We should be out of this place, man. Man's tired of this place. So those who have their hearts, you know, stuck to these worldly things, you know, and they're definitely going to be. Those things are going to be a snare to them. That's why Yahweh Shai says, you know, it, it's it's um, it's easier for for. For a camel, camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man to go into 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 heaven, you know. So you have lots of jakes that are sold out, you know, they're doing the bidding of the Satan, 
doing the bidding of these devils, you know, just for a few change, for a few money, for a few houses, fame and all that thing. You know, all this thing is coming to an end. So I am just going to stop here. Hopefully this lesson was edifying, you know. I'd like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharu Kakudash, my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.